How do internet and welcome back to more geo sketching. This is the online challenge I am casting out at all creatives and non creatives. Even if you're not creative, you can grab a pencil, make some marks, make an interesting little drawing, have a go, maybe learn a new skill. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump here today back into our favorite game, Geo Sketcher, Geo Guesser rather. We are Geo Sketching within Geo Guesser. We're going to roll a dice, we're going to give ourselves a few minutes to both paint, draw, and guess where we are located in Street View across the entirety of the world. We're gonna jump into famous places again, and we're gonna roll our dice and see how many minutes we've got. Eight minutes, it's a nice time. It's uh, not too long, not too short. So we're gonna bring ourselves up to eight minutes. We have eight minutes to draw each location that we're gonna get dropped into. We're not going to be able to move, we're going to be stuck in that one place, we're going to be able to look around, but we're going to have to draw and guess where we are in the world. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to keep um, coming and doing these challenges, posting your work out on social media and joining the community of makers making artwork and geo-sketching that is out there, then uh, hit subscribe down below. But I won't bore you and beg you with all those things, we'll jump straight in and get to some painting and drawing. So we're going to make an invite link. That's down in the description if you want to play along. Pause the video, get yourself set up with some art materials and uh, play GeoSketcher with me. So let's jump in. Round one. Famous places. This is a place, a location I've had in the past. Not on one of these videos, but when I've been playing with family and friends. Can't for the life of me remember what this place is called, but it is not in the United States. It is down in Spain. It is north west of Madrid. Is it up here? I know it's northwest of Madrid, and I know that I normally. It's San Lorenzo. I normally end up getting too close. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to find ourselves something in this Spanish location to draw. Um, the temptation would be to draw this building, but it's a bit obscured by all these trees. Maybe we could just draw a portion of it. Maybe we just go for this little section here. I've lost my pencil for a second. Where have I put that down? Behind an ear? No. This one will have to do. And we are sketching this kind of, we have this tower. So just checking that you're in frame there, you are. So we're gonna start by giving ourselves that dome. Anyone that's sketching along, you can choose whatever you want in there. You've got the power, you can have me in a different tab, talking along to you as we draw. We're drawing the top of, uh, the top of this uh, large palace place, but you might be drawing something completely different. That's the beauty of, uh, of this little art challenge. It, it it drops people into a location, and you've got you've got that eight minutes timer eating at you all the time that you're trying to work out where you are and guessing and things like that. Um, but at the same time, you you've, you've got to try and depict what you're seeing. With some semblance of uh, accuracy, if that's your thing. So I suppose if you're a, a bit more of an abstract artist, you might be approaching it in a completely different way to me. Personally, I uh, quite enjoy capturing a likeness of a, of a building or a location. That's the uh, technical drawer in me wanting to uh, capture the details. The sculptor in me wants to have a go at making a location. That that's going to be a future, uh, a future exploration. If uh, if you want to see it at some point, let me know down in the comments. Uh, the idea of sculpting, perhaps with a longer timer, we might have to make a custom timer for that. Um, I feel like, I mean, I can give it a go, but uh, an eight-minute sculpture would be pretty. Well, maybe it'd be possible. But it, uh, I don't think it would be that uh, 
that enjoyable to watch me get stressed. No, then again, people enjoy watching people suffer. Uh, there is a whole series of videos out there on the internet for watching that exact thing. No doubt. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see me try and sculpt a location. I'll give it a go. Um, I had the idea of perhaps giving myself longer times and maybe making a, sort of a model, a diorama model of, of locations perhaps, but uh, they're going to be more infrequent videos if I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to do something that uh, elaborate, it's going to have to take a little bit of setting up and a little bit of organising, perhaps that would be more suited to uh, a live stream series, perhaps. Um, but you, you let you guys out there let me know how how what format would you like to see them I mean, would you like to see them as a a bite a bite sized down kind of highlight reel um of a, a long live stream of of the whole process going on um and I can try and bring you around around the workshops around my workshop downstairs and um perhaps that would be something who knows and we come up here and we're into a cross at the top. So you can see we're, we're starting to get three minutes remaining. We're starting to get there in terms of having, it's kind of weird. I kind of want this corner here to be, be shown, but that the corner there and it goes back perhaps. It's kind of the sort of perspective we're playing off, isn't it? Not happy with this uh, this corner here at all. It's kind of a strange perspective to be looking up at this building. We're just going to do that and we're going to move on. We're going to not worry too much about these things being perfect. We don't have the luxury of extra time in these instances. Um, if I had a little bit more time, I might have uh, looked into that area and uh, tried to figure out where my perspective lines had gone wrong, but uh, like I said, can't cut that time of luxury, the luxury of time, which you normally have if you're painting on location or just painting not under an eight minute timer. If anyone out there wants to, you're more than welcome to take this uh, format, and make it a bit long. If you want longer to make these drawings, take the time. It's your drawing, your artwork. What's important is that you've sat down and you've put something to paper. You've started drawing or painting something. The rest will flow once you have begun. That's often what I find when doing creative work is I simply need to get started. Once I'm started, the difficulty, <laughs> the difficulty may, uh, my fiance can sometimes find is uh, getting me to stop. I can be sat up late sketching and drawing away quite happily. Um, but different for different people. This whole series and challenge was born from the fact that I wanted to learn faster drawing. I put a guess in, I? I have put a guess in. We don't want to have repetitions of last episode, which will be linked down in the description over on the channel somewhere. You'll find it if you want to see it. But in that channel, I forgot to make a guess. I knew where I was, or had an inkling of where I was, and forgot to make a guess. Oh, I didn't intend that to be blue. I thought that was a darker colour. Oh, well. A little splash of blue to liven up this roof is not going to do any harm. I know what I'm looking at. And we've got 15 seconds remaining. We're going to try and just... Yeah, I really don't like this uh, this roof. This this wall section here, it's just not right. We're going to add some blue up here. The roofs are blue. They are in this world. And we can find out where we were. I'll tell you what. For a guess that was made without zooming in, and just throwing it down roughly where I thought it was. I uh, I have had this location before, but 
I've never got it that accurate. Because I normally play with a timeout when I'm playing just for fun. So that's another thing. If you're interested in just seeing some actual GeoGuessr gameplay, let me know. Maybe you don't want to see sketches every time. Maybe you want to come along and just play. I'm more than happy to do some of that too. Let me know in the comments below. So we were at the imposing Renaissance Palace Complex of Real Monasterio de San Lorenzo de Escoril. Escoril. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Sometimes I can understand a bit of Spanish. I did learn it in school. Sometimes it goes a little bit out the window. But we're going to move on. So we have our first painting done. Flip our page over. Like slightly bigger sketches when we've got eight minutes to play with. Slightly more detailed. A castle complex of some kind. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. We've got big tour buses, so we're obviously somewhere. Obviously somewhere famous, he says, playing the round famous places. It uh, is fairly obvious that we're going to be somewhere famous. I can't say that it jumps out to me. We've got big mountains over here. Snowtop mountains. Italy? France? <laughs> it's got that kind of feel. I was thinking perhaps down... South France, initially, I was thinking sort of Carcassonne way. But with the big mountains, I suppose the big mountains could be the uh, the mountains of Andorra. So we'll, we'll put a guess down. Uh, we'll say we're near Carcassonne. I don't think we're directly in, but maybe we are. We're in famous places. Perhaps we're in the centre. Perhaps people are out there screaming at me saying, no, no, you're not there, you're here. Right, we've got eight minutes to make a drawing. What exciting things can we see from here? Do we draw this very elaborate drawbridge? That's a very interesting drawbridge. Obviously had um, Joyce going across at one point up there. We're going to draw that. We're going to take half a page. Still can't find my pencil. It must be somewhere. Well, we've got one. Carry on. I have, a, I have a pencil that I really like drawing with. And, uh, put it down somewhere. Put it down somewhere. Oh, well. Right, so we zoom out a little bit. So, we have got this thing at the front of the, uh, at the, front of the uh, bridge here. Wall coming across. Block coming up. Does that kind of get thinner? It's kind of, it's kind of angle. You can see it's kind of angles down and then flattens out. So we're thinking sort of perspective shapes here. We've got a sort of form going back like that. And obviously it is, it is going down because it is foundation based. We've got a bush coming across this way. So we're going to put that bush in. Come on, get your lines in, Mark. There we go. This here seems to have some sort of epitaph form on the front for holding something probably at some point I would guess fire to light the front of the uh, front of the stronghold perhaps and then we can see that this is about like this going across like that Not some tessellations along the front So we're just, we've got our basic, basic block framing. And um, this is then gonna come across. And then this is the end of this. And then in the center, we've got a column coming down, which comes to an archway, pointed archway. Always important to make sure we've got a little bit of accuracy. Even in a timed sketch, you wanna so that's normally what I do if I'm doing a quick sketch and I, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a pointed archway. I just I literally put a line in just to say this is a point. Um, but that helps me remember 
remember what's going on. So these are kind of big railings going across. And we can see on the other side of here, the other side is coming down. Which we're going to shade in straight away. Because it is a dark area of our drawing that we want to fade off into the background. Even if we do get a chance to put colour on. And then we've got all coming along back here. Um, that we can just see here. And we can see the bottom of this wall coming along as well. And we can actually see the bottom of here. Which is then coming off. But one, three minutes remaining. So we can actually start to get a little bit more detail in. We can get... We can see the very interesting uh, construction technique up here. We can see... You've got a, um, a slot there which will open out at the back for shooting arrows through. Um, a lot, a lot of the time, you don't see you don't see the go into that sort of a length of um, that length in the construction. They normally they would fire through the uh, outsides, but in this instance, they've gone that extra mile. They've this must be a big um, stronghold of some kind, wherever it is. Actually, at, we'll find out in a little bit. Uh, so we've got our tessellations going on. We've also got all these little dark squares that I would be interested to pop in. Yeah, I'm sort of looking at them and I'm thinking they must be old timber points for putting in some kind of floor along this, uh, this level, perhaps. But perhaps not. Looking at them... Uh, all the way around. Maybe it's a design feature. Maybe it's a, a, a yet another place to allow people to shoot out from. Uh, we've got one minute remaining. So next to this, we have a tower in the distance, which is a very kind of stylized point at top. That's 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 one of the things that uh, made me think. Uh, the, the, the south of the south of France. I, I might be completely wrong. Um, and then things down there that uh, we'll just put some indications in. But things that wouldn't have been there many many years ago when it was uh, originally built. I wonder if the uh, people who commissioned this ever thought that their uh, their defensive ditch would one day become a tourist car park. I highly doubt it. It might be that there's people out there screaming at me telling me where I am right now. It, it, you know, I have had comments saying how how could you have missed that place? It's so obvious, but uh, people's experience of the world is different. It's not to be expected for one person to... Uh, know everything shall we say I mean I'm sure there's if you go out there and you uh, look at some of the other people out there playing especially playing uh, GeoGuessr games on um, on YouTube or competitively or taking part in some of the competitions that are out there in the community there are some very very talented players who would be able to pick this out just from the style of someone's shoe or a car number plate or something like that. I am far from being at the level of being able to do that. You can just about tell, normally, whereabouts we are. We were down in Carcassonne. I'm just going to take one, one little cheeky moment just to put in the interesting bit that I pointed out of the additional arrow slots within the walls. I'm a little bit of a fan of historical buildings, castles and things like that. I've never seen that. Perhaps it's something specific of the area. And so we were at... Um, so it wasn't... Would you call it a castle? It looks like the city's... Uh, you've got the Chateau Contal... It looks like the sort of fortified walls of a city. Very, 
very pretty place. Regardless, we got the the, the Meuse de Carcassonne. We were in Carcassonne. Carcassonne. And there we go. That is that little drawing done. We even managed to get a little bit of colour in. And uh, that makes the end to the first part of this uh, episode of GeoSketcher. I split these up into parts because I feel like if I put a 50 minute video out there, it's a little bit long for people to digest. Um, you'll find the next episode linked at the end of this episode up here or around here somewhere, I imagine. And uh, if not, you'll find it over on the GeoSketcher playlist on the YouTube channel and you'll find it under this video. Thank you very much for joining. Subscribe, like, comment, all those good old things if you've enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next part. Come along, have some more fun. Do some more drawings of your own. Get them out there, show people. Don't show people, just make. Enjoy making and drawing something or anything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next episode. Part, whatever you want to call it.